Now you'll notice that I have the second body out here uh, rigged up, ready to go. Now obviously because this bag is so small, I can't get two bodies in it. Um, so, you know, I am carrying, carrying one camera with the, back, the backpack. Again, just remember that this, this, this bag won't be packed as uh, heavily as, as it was for when we opened it. Here is the SP800 again. Okay, this is a workhorse flash. This does not have a temperature control. Okay, you can shoot until the smoke coming out of this. I've actually seen these burn. Okay, if you look very closely at the head there, you'll see that um, there's a little bit of meltage. Well, that's actually quite mild, but um, th these really go. These go forever. And, um, you know, these are actually now discontinued by Nikon and um, the price range on these is pretty much like the model number. They used to be about $250, then they went up a little bit. I've seen these on eBay for $800, okay, because they're so sought after. People, people will, yeah, they give a lot of money for these things because in, a, in the world of professional photography, when pictures make money, you, you need the gear that's gonna make that, make that money for you or make that money for your company that you work for. This flash works. Uh, SP800. If you um, need to buy a new flash, search out one of these. Don't pay $800 though. You know, trust me. I have to have this amount of flash guns because when I shoot, um, say, like um, I'll be shooting the Oscars very shortly, if I do blow a flash or one of these flashes gets overheated, if you don't have the SP800s on you, you have to alternate between these two flashes, which means that after every, as soon as it hits the critical mark, you have to switch. There is also um, a cooldown period. They uh, the, they put this cooldown period in it where it's like around about 15 minutes where you can't use the flash. It's it's turns itself off. You know you can push it. You might be able to get a flash here and there, but um, once it hits that mark, that's it. It's done. You drop it in the bag and forget about it until the end of the shoot. Let's talk about the camera again. And let's talk about this little lens that we have on here. This is a 28-200. It's a 3556, and you'll notice the letter at the end, which says D. Okay, this lens was manufactured for full frame cameras. And um, we were never able to use this lens because obviously the, D, the DX cameras um, were not full frame. What do we like about this lens? Well, Canon had a 28 to 200, 28 to 300 lens, which was like carrying, um, well, it was you know, a 10 pound weight. Try shooting with that one for six hours. This obviously doesn't have the same, same range as the 28 to 300. It had less range because it's not, it doesn't even have the uh, 1.4 zoom factor on it. But what we do have here is this, compare these two lenses. 200, 200. Okay, this is perfect for red carpets. There's, there's, there's a new version of this lens as well, which is actually double the price. This costs about $250. The new lens, the 28 to 200, um, is a little bit smaller. It doesn't have the aperture ring around it. It's a self-contained unit, and you know, very, very similar to the, the new modern lenses which don't have the aperture rings around them. Um, I like to have the aperture ring. You know, I've actually had one of these fail on me and uh, I was able to, uh, the electronics failed, but I was able to manually set the aperture. Um, so it was great. Um, and for the price, they, they really are work horse lenses. Now it does have one, one uh, drawback. It has a, m a minimum focal length. Okay, not on the 28. On the 28, if you can stand you know, two feet away from your subject and, uh, you, you know, you can get the wide angle shot, but you can't zoom in from the, from the 28. Okay, you have to have a minimal focal length of around about six feet, I think it is. It's, it's not good for parties. I, I, I couldn't use this inside a party because it's, um, that little zoom factor does make a huge difference. They, they do have a 28, uh, 24 to 130 lens which uh, solves that problem. Okay so what we have here is we have a 50 millimeter and normally I don't normally use 50 millimeters but this is the 1.4 
and uh, because of the high ISO tolerances with the uh, Nikon, this is a great little lens now for shooting available light backstage, in dark rooms, in uh, green rooms and such like. And I've seen some great results from this, um, very candid, very, um, you know, just, just some really nice stuff. So I'm carrying this around with me um, in the hope that I get a better chance to use it and um, hopefully we'll get some stunning stuff from it. So what have we got left in the bag? We have a battery, okay, spare battery. As you'll notice here, you'll see that this battery looks very similar to uh, the Canon batteries, except for it doesn't have a bit on the end. Again, another, uh, Nikon did this for a reason. I'm not quite sure what the reason is yet, but um, what you find is there's the complete battery. And you'll see there's a little um, catch there that you flip that catch and that comes off. Okay. So when you, when you go out and you get your spare battery, you really need to buy the extra, the extra bit at the end. Otherwise you'll do what I keep doing and uh, putting my battery on charge and then running out to go and do a job and then realizing, oh, I got a spare battery but I don't have the cap so I can't use the camera. Um, you know, it's just um, a, small, a small thing. Really need to make sure that you have spares of that. So. You know, and of course, with, every, with budget constraints as they are nowadays, you know, we really can't afford to be going out and spending extra money on equipment. Equipment's, you know, expensive, and you really have to watch the pennies. And especially if you're an amateur as well, where you don't have the same budget available, you know, that's just an, an added extra cost. And um, I really don't know why why they did that. So cable in. Um, same rig as Canon, really, um, an off-shoe cable with good written on it because <laughs> uh, these do tend to go and you do need to test them every so often. Um, I will mention the Oscars again. I literally did a, a whole test of all my cables. And again, we mentioned the dummy battery earlier. There's a dummy battery hiding in that one. And the dummy battery does not work, I repeat, does not work with the Canon 580 Mark II, nor will it work with the Speedlight SP900, but it will work with the SP, SP800. So you stick your dummy battery in, you stick your uh, free batteries in, you stick your, connect to your uh, Lumidyne, and if you want to find out if your cables are working, it will draw directly from the cable, if you sorry, from the Lumidyne. If your cable isn't working, your flash won't pop. If it is working, everything will be good. So you know instantly whether or not you've got good or bad cables. Nice little test. The Lumidyne. Okay. So, this is the Ultra Mega Cycler. And uh, you can probably see it's uh, had a few knocks and bashes. Now, you're all going to go, why has he got this on? Well, that's why I have this on, because it's had a few knocks and bashes, because you'll see there's a little screw on the back of that clip. That does get worked loose. Once that works loose, this whole unit will drop off, and then um, you know, you're walking around with it pinned to your belt, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's on the floor, uh, because that screw comes there. This is just, uh, just clip it to your belt, that ain't going anywhere, okay? Saves the bash, and these, these, um, as you can see, do take a bit of a beating. Um, very sturdy, work very good. Um, you can argue, that people argue, Quantum or Lumidyne. I stick with the Lumidyne because I found them a little bit more reliable over the years. Um, and I'm sure Quantum, Quantum do do some good stuff. Uh, they, everyone's getting down to keep making these packs smaller with more power. And um, just like anything else, we switch over as and when the equipment uh, is better than the other person's.